Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Oh, come on. Are we done screwing around here? Uh, their controller support is still a little less than optimal here, I'm afraid. So I do hope everybody is doing well. Thanks very much for stopping by today. Been a little bit since we've played this game. But, uh, well, a couple things. One, uh, I was right. I read the patch notes, and they did, in fact, nerf the bales between when I started selling them and when I finished selling them. In fact, they hit them with the nerf hammer to the degree of over 60%, which I think that's a bit ridiculous. I mean, I don't mind balance, but oh, I'm sorry. I can't use a controller for this. I hope the click of the keyboard is not too... Uh, you know, it takes you five minutes to turn around. And yet, with the mouse, the controls are so sensitive you can barely use them. Anyway, so yeah, they did nerf the bales really, really badly. Um, had we actually managed to sell them a day earlier, I would have made three times as much money, and we would not only be driving a new tractor, we would actually still have the same amount of cash we have. So... <laughs> Yeah. Really unfortunate, you know. And <laughs> I would have really rather they had worked on some of the controller support as opposed to just worrying about things like nerfing bales, to be honest with you. Because it is rather sad still when you're plowing. If you uh, let go of the throttle, the thing will drive for 10 miles. It won't stop going forward even if you grab the brake until you lift the plow out of the ground. Now, it's, I think, probably has something to do with the fact that I don't know that that little tractor should really be dragging that plow. I think it's a bit much for it, you know. They don't uh, give you horsepower and that sort of rating here, but I do believe that that might be just a little on the light side. I think that's where some of the issues come in. Alright, so, but other than that, unfortunately, um, yeah, it looks like the girls are ready for milking as well. Oh, look at that. What a well-behaved moo. Hey, don't get me wrong. I do still really enjoy the game. It just uh, seems a questionable step on the developer's part when there's still a, a lot of really basic things that need to be worked out and they're worried about the economy in the game you know i mean it's <laughs> it's bad enough as it is it's really hard to make money in this game you know because all of these chores and stuff as great an idea as they are very few of them actually pay you they just give you those stupid social points now that does give you a discount but you know why they had to be so convoluted with it and they couldn't simply you know give you a cash reward would have made more sense. I like that they raised the number of cows. I'm pretty sure we only used to be able to have six. Man, you gotta go through that a lot of times. Come on, dear, get up. Next. There we go. And last but not least. Good. All right. Done deal. 
so now I can't do anything with the eggs oddly enough um, but I think I might might be able to do something with the milk so bum 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 what do we got in here fresh milk okay I need these guys uh, move to inventory let's move oops two there we go uh, let's move all of these. To the pantry. Alright. Because I want to check something with the, uh, the milk up in the kitchen. Because I think I can maybe make it into condensed milk. Not sure, though. But I think you can. Oh, his kitchen's downstairs, isn't it? All right. Mm, the bathroom, bedroom. Okay, yeah, here we are, condensed milk. Hold on. Yeah, that's... You really need to be able to cue this up, man. need to be able to queue those up. Alright, good enough. I know I've got enough to get me through the day, so. Speaking of getting through the day, we got one more chore before we can get back to tractoring. I've got one field completely plowed, the other one is about half done. Well, two-thirds maybe. So let's see how this stuff is doing. Shall we? Still nothing. I really do wish they would give some sort of a uh, indicator as to, you know, progress. You know, using your engineer site, I'd like to uh, be able to figure out what I've got to do here. Like how much longer. And yeah, we definitely need a hit with that. Nice. You are getting hungry. Of course I am. There we go. Good enough. Okay. That should make them happy. So now, we get to go back to this. Um, Must be up at the other end. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it is really unfortunate because we've got all of those extra extra miles to go and we're going to have to use this uh, very underpowered thing to do it all. So, unfortunate. almost. That's not bad. Of course those bigger fields are going to be a real grunt. 
They are going to take literally hours. And I'm pretty sure that uh, other than this findable starter equipment, I don't think this tractor would haul anything bigger. And I say I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be running this plow. You know what I mean? I'm holding full stop. As soon as I lift that, it immediately goes backwards. That's the sort of thing I think they should have worked on. I don't know. Because that's certainly a pretty main component of the functionality of the game. So. I mean, most of the rest of it works pretty good, but that's been an issue that's been there since day one. You know. And you could hold the brake down and it would drive over that hill and slam into that lamppost before it would stop. <laughs> it's just weird. But they do still work on the game, so we'll certainly see how they do. Stopped on that side. I guess because it's so steeply uphill. not to tear up my whole property, but my freaking tractor doesn't stop when I need it to. Yeah, I understand that you can't actually hire workers in here. I've never actually done that in this game. So, maybe we'll try that. The only problem is, is I'm not sure if that works like uh, some of the professional farmer where they bring their own kit, or whether it works more like uh, what we're used to with farm sim. Because, I mean, if they're going to use my tractor and that I'm hooped, I can't really do anything else while my field's being done by somebody else. So, if they bring modern gear, <laughs> it might well be worth it. Fields half the size of the next ones I gotta do. And this is one of the reasons that uh, I'm perhaps overly quick to drop certain series if they don't get a lot of viewership, is because there's a lot of a lot of games like this where if you don't want to. I mean, I've got enough fields to plow. I can do six episodes of just plowing. You know, no problem. You know, six 30-minute episodes? Heck yeah. Um, but, of course, that's not what we're going to do. Um, you know, I've already spent a, an hour or so doing another field. So, yeah, I, I, drop, epi I, don't, I drop series that don't get watched because not the amount of effort that it takes to produce each episode, it's the amount of effort that's off-camera that it takes to produce each episode. You know, I've got probably four to five hours of real-life hours of plowing ahead of me. You know, out of that, I'm going to show 
probably this, the rest of this episode, and that'll be it. You know, we'll see, uh, same thing with the cultivating. We'll see part of an episode that involves cultivating, and then nothing else, right? So, that's why I had so hoped to get the larger track. And uh, it's also, like I said, when it's any sort of a series where you do have to do that sort of thing, where you're putting four or five or six hours of time into the game to do a 20-minute, half-hour recording, then, uh, yeah, it's got to make itself worth it by getting views. Otherwise, well, that's uh, six hours you could have recorded, rendered, and posted two other videos. So. Oops. Get the width of a rough start there. 86%. Well, we're getting through it pretty good. How are we doing for fuel in the old Trackator? 56%. Whew. So I burned through almost a tank here, doing these two fields. And I'll tell you, a pretty rough night last night. Not only am I, unfortunately, at one of those stages where the uh, lower extremities are hurting me so much I can barely walk, but uh, so that you know doesn't make for the most comfortable of sleeps. But we've got a large wolf hybrid living next door to the building next to the apartment block. And although up until now he's been a wonderfully quiet dog, um, the last three nights he has barked from about 11.30 till 12.30, barked and howled, um, and then started up again at about 3 in the morning and gone till about 4, 4.30. Now we do have bears and such that come around here, and that uh, seems to upset every dog in the neighborhood. They all get a barking and a woofing. But, uh, I don't know. That side of the property's also got a fairly soft, sandy section. And usually if uh, Yogi's been around looking for his picnic baskets, I'll see a print or two down in that area, and I'll usually check there when I do my morning walks to see what sort of visitors we've had. I've come across all kinds of footprints in there. Raccoons and deer and bear and you name it we get quite a few visitors i think we had a cougar through there one night but uh that was a couple of years back but we definitely have them around here 96 percent lovely and yeah i don't know what uh what he's being such a barky boy for it's rather annoying. And I've always wondered about people whose dogs go off and nothing's done about it. You know? I mean, I kind of figured that was the whole point in having a dog that goes off at things so that you could find out what they're going off on. <laughs> you know? They're like your early warning system. You know, it's like people that put an alarm in their car and then ignore the bloody thing for 45 minutes after it starts going off. You know, why did you even bother with the alarm? You just assume somebody steal the darn thing, it seems. So, but yeah, that's, uh, like I say, a couple of nights in a row at least, and uh, the owners haven't gone out to uh, quiet the animal at all. Which is unfortunate. Wonderful big old thing. Not terribly friendly. He's got that uh, wolfish kind of aloofness that you get into. Um, I had a couple of wolf hybrids. And although they would never act that way with me, I would see it with other people. And they kind of stay an exacting distance away from you. And uh, 
learn everything they can about you before they get any closer. It's really kind of creepy, <laughs> to be honest with you. Alright, let's grab ourselves a little bit of fool. There we go. Uh, okay, lovely. Uh, let's enter this. Yeah, let's refuel. Nice. Ah, uh, we might as well give her a wee run. So, 46 liters of fuel, eh? Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, well. That's barely gonna do anything for us. So, let's go up to one of these other fields and see just what the deal is with this worker hiring business. Because if it's not too shabby a, a deal, I mean, we might be able to go out and do like a couple of transport jobs. I know, we don't get paid for them, we just get these social points, but hey. At least it's something. I wonder how they managed to get the workers to do these fields, considering how uneven they are. Or is it one of these magic things where they don't actually do the field? They just, you know, do the field. Yeah. Well, let's have a look anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, well, we definitely don't get it through there. Farm buildings. Oh, I see. Humidity is perfect, but nothing's ready to harvest. Okay, everything looks good there. How about... Um, hmm. Can we do it from the map? So, for instance... No, I don't want that there, thanks. Hmm. Tell me anything, does it? Hmm. So you can't do it from here. thought there was some way to manage that. No. Huh. Well, 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 I'm going to have to look into that. Because I know there's a way that you can do this. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I've just never really done it before. So... No, no idea. Hmm. Well, that is something I'm going to have to check into because if I can get this thing to uh, to get itself plowed up, then I can maybe, like I said, go and get on with a couple of other missions. So, but anyway, if you guys know the secret to doing that, it would be appreciated. <laughs> and if not, well, take care of each other, folks. This has been DC Seven for Farmers Dynasty. Oh, man, I got a lot of plowing to do. <laughs> Take care, and ciao for now.